Not mine. And I suggest you get back to work before somebody else's hands get broken. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletor's boy, ain't you? I, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night. We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone and all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you not so what? Who are you going to trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all well, the things. Were you all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him? Because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut, Vito. You swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. Crazy. You shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. Just like your old man. I never told you to from the throne. following in his footsteps. I to finally know the truth, though. Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Like I just found Derek's retirement funds. We can take the 
things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw us swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck, then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. God help you. It's a good time of day to buy a boot. I got more oh. Hello, sir. Good to see you this afternoon. Please, sir. I'd take that gun outside if I were you. Please, oh, God! Don't kill me, please! Don't hurt me! Have a Caucasian male carrying a large firearm. Alright, shut the car off and get out of here. Copy that.
Sierra carrying a large firearm. Copy that. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspects. here just assaulted an officer. Roger that. Just gone back. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon.
Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. W why? So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I, I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his head to the ground. Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he knew himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Ciao, Vito. What can I get you this time? Ciao, ragazzi.
freeze and maybe I won't kill you. Hi, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you too. Don't move a muscle. Come on, listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him, so that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry, it's got a hell of a view. Shit! Ah! Oh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. Well, can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem, because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally, we don't got much time. We got to do something. All right, we'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. You! You filthy fuck! Come on! Come on, you fuck! Fuck this. I'm out of here. He 
Eat that, you asswipe! You go first. I'll cover you. <laughs> 